Good morning, students. Now we are moving on to the poem of Unit Three, and we are starting the Unit Three with the poem "All the World's a Stage" by William Shakespeare. And you all know that William Shakespeare is an English poet, playwright, and an actor. He is widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist. He began his successful career in London as an actor. A writer and part owner of a playing company called the Lords Chamberlain's Men, later known as King's Men. The stories of his plays have held the fascination of grown-ups and children alike, generation after generation. He is often called England's national poet and the Lord of Avon. His writings have been compiled in various iterations. Iterations mean um, a compilation or a repetition of a process. of the complete works of william shakespeare which include all his plays sonnets and other poems shakespeare died on 23rd april 1616 at the age of 52 the world now we'll see what is the title about the world is a stage for human being where they play their different roles of life in fact human being play their parts in life as characters play their low role on stage all the worlds a stage so this is going to be the poem that we are going to see now let me read the lines of the poem all the worlds a stage in all men and women merely plays they have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts his acts being seven ages at first the infant mewling and pucking in the nurse's arm then the weaning schoolboy with his sashel and shining morning face creeping like snail unwilling to school after then the lover sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress eyebrows then a soldier full of strange oath and bearded like the bard jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth and then the justice in fair round belly with good capon line with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise saws and modern instances and so he plays his part the sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on nose and pouch on side his youthful pose well saved a world too wide for a shrunk shank and his big manly voice turning again toward childish treble pipes and whistles in his sound last scene of all that ends the stage even full history is second childishness and mere oblivion sans teeth sans eyes sans taste and sans everything so this is the poetic line in this poem all the world's a stage is the beginning of a monologue from william shakespeare's play as you like it it is spoken by jacques in act 2 scene 7 in this poem shakespeare compares the world to a stage and life to a play he has divided life into seven stages each having its own varied qualities and features the poet considers the world as a stage and men and women are the actors on the stage of life they play seven roles according to their age the first stage is described by the poet is the infant who is being carried by a nurse the infant cries and vomits all the time later the infant grows into a schoolboy not willing to attend a school the third stage is that of a lover who is lost in his thoughts of love the lover writes poetry about his lady's beauty in the fourth stage as he grows older he joins the army and becomes a soldier he is physically fit and is aggressive short tempered ambitious in nature the fifth stage shows that with maturity and wisdom the family man becomes a judge he is fairly healthy and full of wisdom his look is authoritative and advises people the sixth stage is about the man who has grown old and is seen in a pantaloon and spectacles his authority has grown weak 
and his voice trembles as he talks. The last stage is about the senile man who loses his teeth, his vision and his hearing. After this, the man's part in the play ends and he exists from the stages of his life forever. So this is the summary of the poem and let us see the poetic lines. The first stanza, all the world's a stage. And all men and women are merely players. They have their exits and entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. So uh, let me give you the explanation for this uh, poetic line. This sonnet of Shakespeare is from his famous play, As You Like It. This poem describes various stages of human life. And life has been compared to a play or drama played by every man and woman on the stage of the world. His seven stages of life or the seven acts of a play. This shows Shakespeare's deep knowledge and transience of human life. See there, all the world stage. The world is compared to a stage here. And uh, metaphor is used here. And all the men and women are merely plays. So he compares men and women to the actors on the stage. They are merely players. They are merely actors like those performing on the stage. They have their exits and their entrances. Here, exits refers to death and entrances refers to the birth of a person. And one man in his time plays many parts. So, one man, if he is going to be born in this year, he plays different roles like a, a young infant, then school going boy, then comes the lover stage, then the fourth stage is the soldier, then the fifth is the older man, that is the judge like person who is giving sayings to others and advices to others, and the seventh stage, sixth stage is the older man, and the last and the final seventh stage is the second childishness. So, his acts being seven stages, so he divides the period of stay or the span. A lifespan into seven stages or seven roles that the person plays. In these lines, the poet compares the world to a stage, and all men and women are only actors and actresses on the stage of this world. All these people have different rules to enter this stage and also have different exits to go out. They enter the stage when they are born and leave this stage when they die. So, exit refers to death and uh, entrance refers to birth here. Every person during the lifetime plays many parts. These parts are called seven ages and these ages are actually like acts of a play. So, you could see the ages of life here, seven ages of life. First one is an infant crying, a complaining schoolboy. A lover, a bearded soldier, a wife judge, justice, an old man and a second childhood. So this is a pictorial representation of um, the seven stages. So an infant crying is the first stage. Then complaining schoolboy, a lover, bearded soldier, wife justice, an old man. And the last stage is the second uh, childhood. So you could just uh, see the different stages, first stage. You will be asked an appreciation question. What is the first stage of a human being? So you should be able to say an infant is the first stage. So what is the second stage? The complaining schoolboy. What is the third stage? Lover stage. Fourth stage is bearded soldier. Fifth stage is wise justice. Sixth stage is old man. And the seventh stage is uh, second childhood. So at first the infant... Uh, Mewling and tucking in the nurse's arm. Tucking means vomiting and mewling means a weak crying sound. So uh, the infant usually cries when it is uh, hungry or when it doesn't, when it wants something. It just expresses its ideas only through cry there. So a weak crying sound that is called as mewling. Child during the first few years of life. Infant. Who is an infant? If your question is asked... Uh, so, a child during the first few years of a life. Okay, let me explain here. Shakespeare says that uh, each human being performs seven parts in his small drama on the stage of the world. 
he makes his entry as a baby who is fully dependent upon others and this stage ends when the infant grows into a school child then we have the second stage so stage 2 uh, a complaining school boy and then the weaning school boy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like snail unwilling to school so you could see the meanings also there creeping means to move slowly and satchel that's a very important question what do you mean by satchel you'll be asked in your appreciation question school bag satchel is a school bag and what do you mean by weaning an unpleasant sound uh, usually crying so that is a uh, unpleasant crying which is uh, Uh, given by the school boy when he is unwilling to go to school so in the second stage the school boy is unwilling to go to school and he is having a satchel in his bag the second stage is his boyhood this is the school going period it is the time when he complains all the time his face shines like the bright and fresh morning see there there is a comparison morning face and shining morning face creeping like snail so his face is just coming out or moving slowly and it is very bright actually but it is coming out like a snail he is very slow in his pace in going to his school he carries his school bag and unwillingly goes to school at the speed of a insect that is uh, he is compared the movement of the school boy is compared to a snail's movement so with a word like the comparison is made so the figure of speech used here is simile stage 3 a lover stage and then the lover sighing like a furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress ibo ibo sighing you should know the meaning of sighing to take and then let out a long deep breath perumuchu vidugal that is the exact meaning to take a deep breath and then let it out that is called as sighing with awful ballad awful means very bad or serious or sorrowful ballad is a poem is a form of poem kavidai tamil la solluna kavidai appdi solrudu made to his mistress i do he describes the beauty of his mistress lover so this is the third stage of a man's life now he is grown up person and assumes the form of a lover it is the time when he loves his beloved ardently ardently means very seriously he sighs like a furnace abbe perumuchu udumbodhu avanoda kaat moochi kaat eppadi irukku anal sooda irukku so it is like a furnace a furnace is a place where you heat something very at a high temperature or an oven so and the mari vandu veppa kaata vandu avanoda moochi kaat veppa kaataga irundhathu he writes a song in praise of his beloved i bro he also sings such songs again and burns in his emotion so he is just burning in emotion that he is separated from his lover he is not able to see his lover stage 4 a bearded soldier so then a soldier full of strange oath and bearded like the pa jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth so here you could see the meaning for the word pard pard means a clipped word for leopard so leopard you know it's a kind of uh, uh, cat it belongs to an it's an animal which belongs to the cat family like a cheetah or a tiger so it's a leopard and um, jealous in honor and sudden and quick in quarrel seeking bubble reputation bubble reputation reputation means very bad and serious Uh, reputation goodwill name fame so he always expects name fame and goodwill at all circumstances and this is only a short lived glory bubble as a bubble uh, exists only for a few seconds this glory or reputation also lives only for a short time even in the cannon's mouth he is expecting reputation at this day cannon is a uh, tank or a big huge gun which is used by the soldiers in the war field so in these lines the poet shows the fourth stage of man's life when he matures he becomes a soldier he takes strange oaths oath means promises he takes different types of promises 
and he has beard like a tiger or a leopard he is fierce like these animals during the stage of life man is jealous of honor of others so romba mariyada expect panna koodiya or stage inge mathavangala paathu poramai pada koodiya stage um kuda and he is very quick tempered romba chatta nu kovam vara koodiya or stage and own squirrels epa pottalum quick back tempered ah irukirathu since he is warm blooded he looks for temporary reputation and fame so indha mari chinna chinna vishayangalla kuda avanukku vandu nariya perumai varanum abbingiradhu romba keen ah irukka koodiya or stage to achieve this temporary fame he is even ready to go into the mouth of a gun he does not bother for dangers so indha romba dhairyamana or stage and வார் ஃபீல்டில் வந்து கன் பாயிண்டில் இருக்கும்போது கூட அவனுக்கு வந்து நல்ல பேர் கிடைக்கணும் அப்படிங்கிறதுல ரொம்ப கீனாக இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு ஸ்டேஜ் ஸோ வித் திஸ் வி ஆர் ஃபினிஷிங் திஸ் வீடியோ அண்ட் த கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் த ஃபிஃப்த் சிக்ஸ்த் செவன்த் ஸ்டேஜ் வில் பி இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் வீடியோ